Okay, all right, now we're going to install the upper tube assembly on the 10-inch uh, uh, Teeter's telescope. Uh, now, when it comes out of the shipping container, what you should see is the upper tube assembly with the light shroud uh, already bunched up around the bottom and pulled over top. Uh, this is not just the only way to have this, uh, but it's, it's really the way that I recommend uh, keeping the shroud um, so that you don't always have to kind of work it onto the telescope and take it on and off um, every time. You can kind of leave it bunched up around the bottom and then leave it uh, draped over top here and it also acts to um, protect the secondary mirror as well. So um, you can always leave it like that. It wasn't just a shipping thing. This is how I would transport it when you're going out to the field anyway. Um, so what you want to do first here is get oriented with the upper tube assembly as to where the focuser is. Um, so you can kind of pull up the shroud and you can find the focuser is right here. So now on this particular 10 inch, the focuser is mounted on the left side, quote unquote, of this telescope. As you look at the back of the telescope, the focuser sits on the left hand side, um, which is a little bit different than normal, uh, but it's certainly uh, an option we can cater to. All right, so we're going to take the focuser here, remember, and we're going to take the bottom blocks here on the bottom of the upper tube assembly and we're going to start to put them onto the ball ends here of the truss bolts. So, now, uh, shouldn't get discouraged. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, of a learning curve to uh, using the moonlight poles here. Um, but in this instance, they all just drop down pretty easy. Uh, the first six usually go on pretty easy, and the last two you kind of have to futz with. Um, but these went on pretty easy this time. What I find too, uh, which is good, is you take one hand and you put it up inside the upper tube assembly and you grab the inside of the lip, there's a little lip here, and you pull down so that the poles bottom out in the blocks. Right, so you want to pull that down and then tighten up these. And just like the blocks on the bottom, you want to get these pretty well tight, uh, but as tight as you can get them uh, using your fingers. So again, you reach up into the lip, you push down so that the poles seat all the way up inside the block. All right, you tighten down and you go all the way around the telescope doing this uh, for the eight poles. All right, put them out on this side. Get them nice and tight. And then you can begin to pull the shroud down. So what you can see is it was good to leave the shroud bunched up around the bottom of the upper tube assembly rather than putting the UTA on and then having to put the shroud over top of this and then down. Um, so it's nice to have it bunched here and then we're just going to pull it down this way. All right, and no, no real fear of the shroud material ripping, it's pretty resilient material. You just want to pull it down, get it set, and uh, should pull all the way down to the bottom. And we'll pick up with the shroud down, and I'll show you the assembly of the last couple options on this particular telescope.